can often do this now. Little educational trips into the countryside. What a marvellous opportunity to increase our knowledge of local history and antiquities. <laughs> Shouldn't you have turned left there, dear? I don't think so. I expect we should have turned left there. <laughs> Mind the grass verge. Don't go too near the grass verge. I think we can often do this. <laughs> I expect we'll become quite expert in local history and antiquities. I think I'd like that. I could perhaps give a talk occasionally. I'm sure you could talk, I said. I'm absolutely positive you could talk. Yes, I believe I could. Mind the horse. <laughs> it's in the field. They jump hedges, you know. Haven't you seen them on television? <laughs> Can you see anything now? <laughs> Dan, look! Come along, Richard. Use your eyes. I dare even open them. I don't like heights. <laughs> it's at times like these I miss my Sheridan. When did he ever climb a tree? <laughs> he would for his mummy, dear. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> You're not all that high, dear. That's not the impression you get from up here. <laughs> well, scan the countryside. Look particularly for evidence of mounds and depressions. The only depression is mine. I feel extremely unsafe. <laughs> oh, really, Richard, here we are in the pursuit of history, and all you can think about is your safety. <laughs> That hiker have the impertinence to think I was talking to a tree. <laughs> they didn't believe you were up there at all. Why didn't you answer? I must have been totally engrossed in looking for Iron Age remains. Well, you should have answered. Well, look for lumps and depressions, you said. I, I must have been so wrapped up in looking for lumps and depressions. It was very humiliating for me. Mind the pothole in the road. Minding the pothole. <laughs>